So Blackwing Lair is scheduled to come out soon in Phase 3, where we take on arguably the main antagonist in Classic WoW, Nefarian. Blackwing Lair is going to be our first legitimate new raid tier that is coming to Classic WoW. Aside from Onyxia and Molten Core, this is going to be the first new raid that we get to go inside. Not only are the encounters in Blackwing Lair significantly more challenging and interesting than the Molten Core bosses, but the loot that drops is significantly better. The loot that you can get from Molten Core is only marginally better than some of the stuff that you can get in the pre-raid best in slot lists. The Molten Core gear isn't that much more powerful than some of the stuff that you can get in dungeons. That being said, there are some really nice items that you can get from MC, but Blackwing Lair is where the power level of gear really picks up. So with that being said, here are 10 overpowered items that you can get in Blackwing Lair. Starting off this list at number 10 is the Mind Quickening Gem. So in Blackwing Lair, there are a bunch of really overpowered trinkets that are class specific. Each class can get a trinket that has a very unique effect that should benefit the class in question. Now these class specific trinkets that you can get in BWL vary a lot in power. And perhaps one of the most powerful trinkets that you can get is the Mind Quickening Gem. This item gives you a massive 33% increase to your speed when casting spells for 20 seconds. Yes, that is right, one of the only ways that you can increase casting speed as a cost of DPS, and it's a massive 33%. So this trinket is unique to mages and that's probably a good thing. Imagine having every mana based class argue over trying to get this trinket. It would just be absolute mayhem. So it's kind of good that it's exclusive for a mage. But just picture how much more damage you'll be able to do with this trinket, essentially giving you 33% extra damage for 20 seconds. That is just absolutely insane, especially considering that a lot of bosses in Molten Core probably take less than a minute to complete. So this is a massive increase to your DPS. But also think about the synergy it has with other powerful spells that can increase your damage. Picture using the Mind Quickening Gem in combination with Power Infusion from a Priest and Arcane Power. You would literally do twice the DPS of the number 2 guy on the damage meters. This is just an absolutely amazing trinket. Not only for PvE, but also PvP. Think about the burst damage potential you have with this trinket. In addition to pulling off some really fast polymorphs, this is just an absolutely must have if you're a mage. And I'm going to be gunning for this trinket myself. I probably won't get it anytime soon when BWL comes out, but it's so good that I have to try and get it. Number 9 on this list is Ash Candy. So this is an absolutely beastly two-handed sword. It's a very iconic weapon and a lot of people are going to want to get it, especially considering that it has a massive 81.86 DPS, which for the record is a higher DPS than the Hand of Ragnaros. That should put into perspective how strong this sword is. It also gives you a massive amount of stamina, 33, and 86 attack power. It's kind of arguable as to whether or not this is better than the Hand of Ragnaros, but you can bet that a lot of warriors are going to want to get this. But something kind of controversial with this sword is that it's actually really good for a hunter. Although this item has amazing damage potential that would never be used by a hunter, the 33 stamina and 86 attack power is very good for them as well. It's not uncommon to see hunters with Ash Candy. You can bet that if this drops and a hunter spends their DKP on this over a warrior, there's going to be a lot of drama. But it will happen. You'll definitely see some hunters with this weapon. I can guarantee it. Number 8 on this list is the Drake Fang Talisman. So trinkets right now just aren't very good, like you can get some decent trinkets that can give you a 2% increase to your critical strike chance, like the Black Hand's Breath, which gives you a 2% increase, it's not amazing, but when Blackwing Lair comes out, that's when the trinket slot is going to get really strong. Every melee class is going to want the Drake Fang Talisman, which gives you a massive 56 attack power, a 2% hit chance, and a 1% chance to dodge. So that right there is basically like an overpowered version of the True Strike Shoulders, yet in your trinket slot. If you guys don't know already, the hit chance is probably the most important stat for a melee DPS, and rogues and fury warriors are going to go absolutely crazy when this drops. This is actually a good item for tanks as well. Although the hit chance is going to be a stat priority for melee DPS, it's also a big priority for tanks. So you're going to see tanks and DPS argue as to whether or not they should get this item. 
But that being said, you know when an item is good, when it causes your guild arguments, when it drops. Okay, number 7 on this list is the Chromatic Boots. So this is kind of like a joke item, but the stats that it gives you is no joke. This has been dubbed the Clown Boots because of its ridiculous appearance, but you shouldn't let the appearance of these boots fool you. These boots are best in slot for Fury Warriors throughout the entire game, including Naxxramas loot. The chromatic boots are better than anything you can get in Naxxramas, that should put things into perspective. It gives you 20 agility, 20 strength, 19 stamina and 1% hit chance. So any fury warrior that sees this item drop, you never have to replace this ever again. It's arguable as to whether or not the epic PvP boots can replace this, they're kind of on par with each other, but nobody really wants to grind PvP ranks unless they really have to. But either way, the chromatic boots are going to be highly sought after, because they are just absolutely amazing. Okay, number 6 on this list is Lokamir Il Romathus. This mace is absolutely overpowered. It gives you 18 intellect, 8 spirit, 10 stamina, and a massive 84 damage and healing. And this is not even a staff, this is a one-handed mace. 84 damage and healing is just ridiculous. That's going to be amazing for shadow priests, elemental shamans if they're in your guild, but also amazing for healers. Healers are also going to want this item. Although this is technically better for a DPS caster, it still gives you 84 healing. That's a lot of healing. So you can imagine there's going to be a lot of people rolling for this item when it drops. Okay, number 5 on this list is Nelfarian's Tear. So this is basically the perfect trinket for a caster DPS. Warlocks and mages are going to be gunning for this trinket. If you have a DKP guild, you can bet that they'll be saving their DKP specifically to get Nelfarian's Tear. This gives you 44 spell power and healing, as well as a much sought after 2% spell hit. So gear with spell hit is very rare in Classic WoW, like it's kind of hard to find gear with this stat line, and in most cases you need more spell hit than any other stat in the game pretty much, as spell hit versus bosses is very important. It basically guarantees that 2% of your frost bolts or shadow bolts will land, in other words a 2% increase in damage. So once you get this item, it basically takes care of your spell hit, which is really important, as items with spell hit and classic is pretty hard to come by. Okay, so number 4 on this list is the Rejuvenating Gem. So this is kind of the sister item to the Nelfarian's tier. Instead of stats for cost to DPS, this is basically the healing equivalent. It gives you 66 healing and 9 MP5. Basically the two stats that every healer wants. This trinket is an absolutely amazing jump from all the other trinkets that you can get up to this point. I don't know why but there's just so many nice trinkets that you can get from Blackwing Lair. It's kind of like the standout items to be honest. Number 3 on this list is the life giving gem. Once again another overpowered trinket. So this one is kind of unique, this is not just a stat increase but this is a usable trinket that is absolutely invaluable for both PvE and PvP warriors. This trinket gives you 15% extra health for 20 seconds. Now consider that tanks in Classic WoW have a massive health pool anyway, increasing that by 15% is going to be absolutely invaluable for a lot of boss fights where it's a struggle for the healers to keep the tank alive. But the only issue is, is that this is absolutely amazing for PvP as well, so you're going to have DPS warriors also gunning for this item. Even though it would benefit the guild a lot more if a tank gets it, having that 15% extra health for 20 seconds is the difference between winning and losing a duel. So you're going to have a kind of interesting dynamic in a lot of guilds when this drops as to whether or not it should go to the DPS warriors or the tanks. In my opinion it should always go to the tanks first and not the guys that just want to do some PvP but that's just my opinion. Okay so number 2 on this list is the natural alignment crystal. Another overpowered trinket, of course. This is shaman specific and it is just absolutely overpowered. It gives you 20% spell damage and healing for 20 seconds, kind of like the mind quickening gem, except it also increases the mana cost of spells by 20%. This is kind of like the arcane power ability that mages have, where mages would have to go to the lost talent in the arcane tree, but if you're a shaman you can basically get the same effect by just getting this trinket, so that's just really invaluable. And it benefits both elemental shamans and healing shamans as well. So this is going to be amazing for both PvP and PvE. 
Once again, a very interesting trinket and definitely a must have if you're a shaman. Okay, so number one on this list is the Pure Elementium Band. So this ring is pretty much the best healing ring in the game. There's another ring that you can get in Exramus which has equivalent stats, but the Pure Elementium Band gives you 10 Intellect, 9 Stamina, 10 Spirit, and 53 Healing. That is just an insane stat line for one ring. If the stats on this ring were half, this would still be good, but this is just really overpowered for something that you can get in Phase 3. To put that in perspective, there's another ring in Axramus which has basically the same stats, the Band of Unanswered Prayers, Basically the same amount of stats, but that drops from an Axramas boss. This drops from Blackwing Lair. And the funny thing is that even the flavor text on this ring is hyping it up. It talks about you not comprehending the craftsmanship that went into this ring. Even Blizzard knew that this ring was overpowered when they put it into the loot tables. And if you're a healer and you get this ring, you pretty much never have to replace it. All the healers in your guild are going to be really hype when this drops. Well guys, I can't wait until Blackwing Lair comes out. When Phase 3 comes out, I believe that's when raiding in Classic WoW will start to get interesting, and it will begin to separate the men from the boys. Molten Core and Anixia are pretty trivial at this point, like it's not that much of a hassle to do it. However, in Blackwing Lair, a lot of guilds will legitimately wipe on bosses and will struggle to get past certain roadblocks, so it's going to be very interesting. And I really can't wait until Blackwing Lair comes out. Not only because it drops some of these amazing items, but it will give us Classic WoW players a legitimate challenge. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. This is Vaulty, signing out.